Uno. Well, man, for those who don't know who you are, could you just introduce yourself? Um, how you doing? Welcome. Big up Drop Mag. I'm Ashley Verse, um, freelance photographer. We've been mostly within the fashion and music industries. Okay. So the first question I want to ask you is a simple one. What is a freelance photographer by your like, definition? Um, I would say a freelance photographer is someone who works within the industries um, and has the, the clientele but is not assigned to um, one which place so it's not assigned to like a certain artist or just to a certain artist or a certain label or a certain thing so um, freelance for me means that I, I'm unable to, to be able to go to different kinds of places and take photos of different things in different industries um, whereas you know someone who may shoot for a particular label you, um, you work for that, that label and that's it and you may not be able to shoot outside of it. Cool. So, one of the things you lot said in the podcast was that you lot are kind of pioneering a new generation of, um, you know, how can I say, media um, yeah. creative. Mm -hmm. So, why was it important for you to kind of, um, let's say, document your journey and also interact with people and share the story of what's going on in the culture right now? Um, it's mad because, for me, pioneering never came into it at all, like, ever. Um, it was more on a personal basis of like in my era of gram existing and being in school and listening to it there was no there was visuals but the visuals were on aka or the visuals were on channel U at the time you get me and um, there was there wasn't really pictures like that and there wasn't really anything any other way for me to get into my artist so there was artists that like I'd maybe seen on Google or a video or whatnot yeah but I didn't have any other way of like, reaching them and seeing them. The only way was kind of getting Bluetooth their songs and whatnot. So um, it was me reaching a certain age, like, you know, just busting 18 and being allowed to make it to these shows and see it in the flesh. And that's kind of what I was documenting. So it was, it was me documenting my life almost because um, I was just documenting what I was seeing and what I had the opportunity to see for the first time. And it was kind of like, as I was displaying it, um, and seeing it myself for the first time, people was allowed to kind of see it themselves for the first time as well. So that's how it made sense to me. Cool. So like, um, kind of looking at where you are now and like all the things that you're doing, kind of who you're filming with, the opportunities that are opening for you, um, and comparing that to where you were when you first started, like mm -hmm. your first step into this whole world. Like, what would you say is the, the main difference? Um. I guess the main difference is more like the scale of the jobs and the intensity of them and um, sometimes the pressure, I think there is more pressure to get it right now whereas um, before, you know, when you're freelancing and where you're picking and choosing what's, what's coming out, um, it is more personal and you can look at and review a show and say, Do you know what, I shot that show really badly in it, like man's not going to put nothing out, like, I might put up three pictures and People might think I've done well, but those <laughs> the three pictures that are only ever going to come out, do you know what I mean? Whereas, um, if you've been consigned by a magazine to go and shoot that show, you better come back with your right set of photos that they need, do you know what I mean? So there's an added pressure there. Um, but, you know, the foundation to things for me are the same. I'm still going to shows I love and working with artists I love, and I think there's things that you need to keep the same for it to work for you. And you know, the, the differences in the growth of that. So, other than today, um, it's obviously a very big thing, you know, you're taking over a box park in, in such a way and so many people coming up to hear you guys talk. Um, other than this, or even including this, um, what are your, your top three biggest achievements today? Um, working with Chase and Status, and not because they're chasing status, but because um, it's the level that I'm working with them on and how personal it is and how um, how a part of the whole thing that they've, they've made me, you get me? So that they've allowed me to come to shows, come to rehearsals, come to studio sessions and listen to them work on their album and watch them work and capture behind the scenes where they're just chilling and being on that level of, of um, documentary with an artist 
is something that I've never achieved before or never seen and um, inclusive to that them being who they are they brought me to bigger scale shows and allowed me to see how production works on a larger scale of things and I think that's important for me as a freelancer because it allows me to then replicate that um, for other people and get to know other people as well through what that I've been doing with um, That's a big moment. Uh, another one for me was getting the job at GQ. Um, especially as, as mad, I'm, I didn't actually cover this in the, um, in the talk. But shooting for GQ on a mad personal level, I was kind of like, bro, how is this going to work? Like, like, do GQ realise that my environment like, do they know who they're hiring like do they know i shoot grime like because widely at the moment at that moment this is looked down on this is like you no know, you lot are like high skilled you know what i mean you lot live a different totally different life to me is that gonna like reflect badly on me that i live a different lifestyle or come from a different place or you know, I don't dress like you do. I'm not gonna come to the job dressed the same as as, as you might expect me to, and um, them factors there. And working with them and realizing I didn't have to worry about any of that was a big thing as well. Realizing that you know they taken the time to look at the other stuff that I've done and they appreciated the fact that yeah, cool, you document the grand scene, like um, so when you're there, you have a relationship with the people that are, are attending to the shows and you can bring us a different vibe like we can hire a photographer who works in Getty but he's not going to know who Novelist is he's not going to take a picture of him sitting on the front row we might not use it now but in the future when Novelist blows up and comes to commercial success they have a picture of their archives from Novelist in 2015 sitting at front row of whichever fashion show do you know what I mean so um, that was a big moment for me like kind of worrying about shooting with them and, and and you know even the job itself I was worrying about the capabilities of like raw like you lot have hired me for this am I actually good enough to shoot for GQ magazine for British GQ like, to see it in every WH spot am I actually good enough for this I pondered on and sat on that time 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 with a little bit of doubt to be honest with you but to come out the other side of that and see how it went and, and could to be doing it now for two years Mad, mad appreciative of that. Um, I don't even, I can't even think of a third, <laughs> but you know, the, the, the two were a bit in depth. So. Yeah, that's deep, man. But I've got like two questions. Oh. Oh. Um, how would you, this might be a tough one as well, but if you could use three words to describe some of your, your pieces, your, your, your artwork. Mm. For the exhibition? You know, just your work in general. Like if someone was looking okay. at your work, and you were looking at it for the first time, what three words would you want them to, to visualise in their head? Intensity. Um, moments. I feel like those words need to explain it. Um, and... Freedom, yeah, intensity, moments, and freedom. Because the the photos themselves, they come from a place of freedom. Um, and most of what I'm documenting comes from a place of freedom. Whether it be fashion and be the designers allowing to, you know, just create what they feel free to create, and that's their platform to do so. Or the artists, especially in crime, where. And even even just grime, like UK rap, you get me where you wear. I shot the gig show the other day, and it's like gig, they're, they're calling it Gigs' first show, and it's mad because we know how many years Gigs has been about. But he's literally been shut down from doing this show years and years and years. So I, in a sense, documented his freedom. You get me? He came out and performed, and he, well, he watching it, he felt free. You get me? When you watch it back on Link Up, the man felt free. He lived it. Like. So yeah man, intense, intensity, freedom, I've got Intensity, freedom, and uh, moments. Yes, moments, yeah, yeah. So there's a moment in itself as well. So yeah, I hope that explains it a bit better. Ah, cool. And um, even though you're still young and you've got like a lot of mileage left in you, mm. what would you 
want your legacy to be like for the, the next generation looking up at you? Um, I just hope I can inspire people more and more and I know like it might sound a bit cliche but this second half of the year has, is, is the thing that's opened me up to realising that, um, that my work is a bit bigger than me or it's gone a bit bigger than me like I didn't you're you in it so at the end of the day you do your work and you're into it and to some extent that is that mm -hmm. but then to realize that what I do it hits another person and, and they feel a certain type of way about it was like a mad new feeling and experience for me and that's something that I hope that I can I can, I can push to more people because at an earlier age for me my examples were great but I was a lucky person who saw bad examples and learned from them in the opposite way. But not everyone has that. So, um, yeah, I hope I can be that for some people. And I'm glad if they can take something from me and turn it into their own thing and, and make that happen. That's just a, a blessing in itself. Guys, just that's it.